That also means we died. So what now? Let's just, we can take a look at the new game thing real quick. Here's my ship list. Like I said, I have, uh, now I'm only missing one type B, which is the rock B. I have the type C. Uh, I'm missing four type C's. And I have no crystal ships still. All right. Yeah, no, it was a good try. If I, if I had not hired three crew with the explicit purpose of unlocking the crystal B or the Kestrel B, I am sure that I would have been in much better shape by the time we got the Sector 8. But we'll do uh, Kestrel B for a roll. Now we're going to see if we can uh, work towards unlocking this. I can't guarantee how far we get because it's hard mode. But you know what? The Red Tail, we can just call this the uh, Blue Bird instead. And people will be like, that's not a blue ship. But we're going to do it anyway. Fun part about this ship is that it starts off super strong because it has four basic lasers. Now, is it good on hard mode? I don't know because I've never played this ship on hard mode. But I imagine lasers tend to be good regardless. So search among the stores to see if someone will sell to you. Oh, look. We're getting hacked right away in the med bay. That's not so bad. I don't think I need to rearrange my crew anywhere. So we want to fire all the things here. And pew pew. This is fun. One, two, three, four. And we're there. And we're actually not trying the fourth laser. There we go. Now you're gonna die. Hopefully, maybe. We're so close. We were so close. Actually making it to the last stand on that run. It's only because we managed to go oh, hacking stun. Well, that's at least something we can sell. The only reason we made it to the last stand on that last run is strictly because we uh, happened upon a wealth of weapons in Sector 6 and Sector 7. It's the only reason, but... All right. Oh, doors. Let's put you on that now. Because if there's fires, I want to be able to vent them out. We may be able to get out ahead of time. Now, one shield and two engines is not awesome here, but we can make it work. Hopefully, we can just get out in time. Solar flare. Can we get out before the solar flare? Oh, we barely did. Barely, barely. All right, aid the civilian ship. Look at this. It's like all the fights are not just like completely crushing my soul like that last run. But then again, when you're going into Sector 5, still only having the Burst Laser and Artemis Missile. Okay, they like our doors apparently. You know you're having a fun one. Alright, so this guy's dead. He's gotta be dead. And Kushi can just heal up. Yay! So easy. And the op, op. Oh, look, we can't even deny the offer here. Offers to install a piece of equipment onto your ship. Now, probably the biggest deal with this ship is that it comes with. Uh, well, let's see here. The biggest deal with this ship, first off, is that it comes with all kinds of weapons. Level 4 weapons is really, really good. And if I can just. I can't fire all these things at the same time. I can fire two of these in the basic lasers. But it's really nice that we got a whole laser just right away. So surrender your goods. They want to fight. They want to run. They're not going to succeed here. So now we can uh, do things a little differently here. Really, just hit my oxygen right away. Why don't we? Okay. Now, if I had my four lasers firing simultaneously, that might be stronger. So we could easily go back to that in just a second. Yep. So right now they're just dodging everything because they're awesome. And our med bay's on fire. So yeah, we just lost that jump because we didn't stick to the plan. We're going to go back to the four basic lasers for the time being. All right. How embarrassing! Okay, whole laser. I'm actually going to put you back on the bench. Alright. 
And I think we got people that need heal, so let's do that real quick. Whew. This is, uh... It's interesting. It's interesting to see the little view counter pop up and pop down too. It's like, oh, made a misplay. Run. Viewers run, but that's okay. This would be the time where we get near the crystal unlock too, isn't it? So dislodge from the rocks? Nope. We lost our oxygen system yet again. Because it can't just be we have something healed and it's okay. All right. Just got to remember that our shields are not online right now. And now let's just go back here. Next. And nothing here. We still have no shields. Next. We do have 50 scrap. We could upgrade the basic laser. I still feel like it's better to get level 2 shields first. Especially with the loadout like this. Now fortunately our basic lasers will be able to fire before these things can. We've just... I was wrong. But we got our shields up ahead of time, so... That's a positive. Let's take out their drone control. There we go. All the offensive threats can just go. And pew 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 pew. They actually still live. Who knew, right? And we're gone. Okay, 2, 1, 18, not bad. So I still think it's correct to try and go for uh, level 2 shields before this is in there. So let's examine the station. We got some scrap. There's a store. Maybe a mistake going to the store, but we have 77 scrap in Sector 1. Uh, defense scrambler, distraction buoys, nothing much here. We could sell the hull laser. I'm in fact going to go ahead and sell a basic laser and the hacking stun. I have, maybe there's a player out there that's much better than me that can make good use of hacking stun. But let's go ahead and upgrade our ship. We are going to go full gunboat on this, I guess, right? Sounds like a plan. Uh, anything else from the store? Not really. I don't need fuel. I don't need repairs. We'll just head on. Looks like we are going to have to fight through the Rebel Fleet at least once. Okay, attacking the pirate is going to be exciting. Hopefully we can blast the result and shield in a hurry. So, what? That RNG, man. So not only are the shields ion, duh duh, but now we have everything else on fire. So all of our defenses are just useless. Now their offenses are useless. It's a trade. Oh, should have fired the hull laser at the actual hull. We would have killed the ship. Old habits from the last run die hard, apparently. All right. Well, they're dead regardless. Let's go and power this up. See if we can get a few repairs going. Mantis on the repair for the win and off the repair now. Almost. All right, 91 scrap. So we can definitely upgrade to level two shields before this is all said and done. Uh, we'll never surrender to slavers. Well, let's see where they hack us in the doors. Okay, a little dumb to not have that powering up, but we'll live. Alright. Once again, the whole laser is just not very good. Alright. Well, I mean, it's good, it's just not very good in this situation. Okay, we get... Crazy for Ken Ken. Put you on doors. And I guess we need to upgrade our shields. So let's do that. And hopefully we don't get blasted out of the sky right now. In fact, the uh, Kestrel B is one of the few ships that's equipped to take 
out these things early and often. You can see that they have level 2 shields, but we have all the lasers. The problem is the anti-ship battery, so we're going to go ahead and turn off the air right now. I'm going to fire these all at once. Good. Halberd beam gone. Should probably wait to fire all these at once again because that shield level is going to recharge. We've lost sensors in three hull. We can do worse than that. Once again, not trying to do anything outside of just surviving. I mean, there's absolutely no reason to stick around and kill this ship other than score. And this is not a score run. We do need a little bit more. Uh, Come on, can we get it before the anti-ship battery hits? Yes. All right, Uncharted Nebula or Rebel Controlled? We're going to go for the Nebula here. This gives us more opportunities to unlock the uh, Crystal Ship, which is always the first thing that we go for here. Now let's see. We need to turn the air back on. Hello, sweet air. And there should be a hole puncture here. All right. Let's go ahead and cycle you up here. Mantis on repair. Because that is how we roll in the Federation. Everybody, everybody does their thing. There's some saying there, but we're not going to really fight it. All right. So it is actually an Uncharted Nebula. Okay. I mean, the game wasn't lying. We do need some power, though, so what's the best route to the exit here? We'll just start this way, see if we can unlock some more things. Nothing. Uh, let's arm the weapons. He called us repugnant. Granted, we only have three lasers that we can pew pew them with, but that beats the alternative, right? Okay, just hit us in the shields, that's fine. We didn't need those shields anyway. Oh, why do I keep shooting the whole laser at the wrong place? Alright. Well, at least we know they're dead now. Like, there's no possible way they can survive. And an iron intruder drone, so more things to sell. You can heal. We do need some air, we do need some engines. We do need some repairs. It's all just fine. Random store, maybe we can get something decent there too. Would help if I actually put everybody back in battle stations and powered up my weapons, though. Good lord. Just sitting here like, la la la, how's today going? Oh, it's going great. There's a Manta ship trying to shoot at me. Oh, really? Well, we got numbers. Alright, so all the basic lasers can go now. I'm not really particularly scared of your weapons. I just would like to... Uh, Take this out ahead of time. Okay. Should be the end. All right. Now we have a few things to sell at the store. Okay, so we can hop back that way. And empty sectors, the bane of any nebula run. Drone that's trying to run. Shields up, red alert. Not so much for anything other than the ion PP. That'll be okay. It's again, hull laser not pulling a lot of work here. Good! I actually took the cloaking out.
Oh, really? That sucked. No! Come on. There we go. <sighs> Way too close. Alright. Kind of need to turn the air back on this ship. Is that really just seven scrap? Alright, well, let's see what's in the store first. Before we do anything too crazy. Uh, nothing. Pew. Okay, emergency respirators. Yeah, literally nothing. Well, might as well repair. All right. One point for you, one point for you. Can't do that yet, but we need to get our doors soon. All right. Almost through this sector, too, which is pretty nice. Like I said, the... Uh, the Kestrel B is one of the smoothest early games in the game. It's extra helpful that we got the whole laser, but we'd still be doing really well even without it. And I know technically I could be hitting the hole there, but I really want to take out the missile launcher, which we did. Ugh. Miss clicking like a boss. All right, it's 35 scrap. We still got a lot of jumps before the fleet comes and there's not gonna be a lot that we can do. All right, so drone parts, definitely sell those. This does not smell like a drone run today. Uh, I don't really wanna use the extra fuel. So we'll cut out the sector a little early. It's very unlikely that one lone nebula sector has anything that will uh, help us out. Doors for 14, yes, please. Much better than doors for 35. All right, now let's repair 10 damage. Good stuff, NG home world's result and controlled. Well, one of these is a system that I like to go to and one of these is a system that I don't. But we do not have NG crew. We have a crap ton of stores. Let's see if we can get some fights here. I guess we're gonna have to buy some fuel. Or we could not. Hmm. Yeah, let's jump away from the store that actually sells us fuel. So, we fire a few volleys that aren't able to penetrate the defenses. So, we make everybody very happy. Fortunately, our ship's not on fire. How many more punctures are we going to have here? Okay, so not only did we run away from the stores that actually could be our salvation. Uh, agree to rescue the store, quest marker on the map. Now, we have to just hope that we can get some fuel. Please be a fight that gives me fuel. Let's hire a crew member. It's actually a really good idea. Because we're in the NG homeworlds and we desperately need repairs. We need someone who can actually repair things. I know I was talking good talk before about how everyone gets to do their role, even the repair mantis, but seriously, we need somebody who can do this a little bit faster. All right. So we're on the scanners. We do have a pretty good boarding team. Can actually need some more healing. All right. Good stuff. No fuel. The stress beacon's still on. Yay. I explore the nearby area. And we have nothing. Here comes the rebel fleet. A mantis ship jumps nearby a sensor to tackle weapons lock in the hope of... Avoiding a fight fades away. You are so dumb. Yes, let's transport into the med bay. We know this is the med bay. I could potentially actually kill the crew entirely. Or not. I mean, why would we want to actually do that? Okay, we're gonna get bombed here in just a minute. Okay. Now we're gonna be able to dodge everything here. So do we go for the crew kill or I think we just... There we go. No reason to do anything else. So four and 25. 
Can we get to the quest marker and the exit? There's one way to find out. Because we're super low on fuel again. Just gotta stay ahead of the rebel fleet. Okay, exchange the rebel and rescue the space dock. I thought it said exchange for a second. It's like, exchange the rebel? We doing like a stop and swap or something? Alright, do I wait for all these guns to fire? I guess we do, because I just whiffed really hard. Alright. This is a good one. Let's uh, not miss them all this time. Okay, so we got one laser shot. We turned off their burst laser too, so that's a plus. Mm, well, we did damage, so that's a plus. Right now they can't hurt us and Turing's getting good shield experience. So all is not lost in the universe. Except for maybe these alien or these rebels and their burst laser too. All right, we should be able to knock him out here. Yeah. I saw that pop back up and they were both about to fire, so I thought it was better to take out all the weapons instead of trying to go for the kill that I would not have actually had the damage for. There we go. Now you're gone. Five points healed, and we get a store. The store has a heavy laser. That is interesting. Heavy laser is objectively stronger than the basic laser. Ooh, but I need fuel. I'm just gonna buy them out on fuel. Distress beacon here in the NG homeworlds. I don't think that can be the damage stasis pod, but it might be. Uh, give them fuel. We just bought some extra and they upgraded our reactor. Sweet! Good savings, good value. And more free stuff. We love you, NG Homeworlds. We got two jumps. Alright, so attack the automated ship. That is a scary drone. Fortunately, their defenses are relatively low, so we can hopefully not get beamed here. Okay, somehow we got beamed anyway. Alright. The drone still remains. Our oxygen is now damaged. Good. And now it can't hurt us. There we go. That was a waste of a shot. But now we're not in danger. Ken, you need healing. Let's do that now. Right. 21, and even more fuel. Remember when we didn't have fuel? We have fuel. And we have the exit in time. I think I'll wait on upgrading until we get to the next sector. Alright, their specialty reactor. It's a decent price. We need to upgrade our reactor anyway. Or we will need it thinking forward. So here's the NG controlled sector. And unfortunately, given the time, I think I'm going to have to call this stream here. So I appreciate those of you who are able to pop in, and I do appreciate those of you who have come by and watched on the YouTube page as well. But unfortunately, the way things go sometimes is that you just play and play, and then the runs don't always end up so evenly. So we'll just, I don't know why that suddenly popped up to the top, but that was what I was going to do anyway. But yeah, that's it for now. This is Asher. We will be doing this again soon and hopefully more often here. But I do appreciate you coming by. I am on YouTube as well. That's an old thing. It should be Asher Games on Asher Gaming. If you remember a way to fail self. That's me. I changed the name because, yeah, that's how it goes. But I do appreciate you all watching, coming by, watching the highlights, anything like that. If there's anything you ever want to see, let me know. If you, want, if you have any questions about runs or how things went, please ask. But it's been interesting. It's been fun today. 
Uh, I play things other than FTL, but FTL is always kind of a nice game to come back to. It's one of those things that like, fits like a good, familiar warm glove. But, hey, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.